Hi, my name is Zach Fott and this is Edgar and we're with Skyline Cabinetry. Today we would like to show you guys how to assemble the 3DB21. Uh, the couple tools that you'll need is going to be the drill, uh, rubber mallet, and then the nail gun. Again guys, we're going to stress this, safety is the number one priority. So we're going to have our safety goggles at all times. And then also, if you would like, we have safety gloves to go ahead and wear those. Uh, all right guys, so let's get right to it. The first thing we're going to be doing with the 3DB21 is going to be assembling the drawers. We went ahead and assembled the first drawer and Edgar here is just going to be assembling here the last drawer so that you guys know exactly what's going to be happening. Just like stated in some of our previous videos, everything is dovetail, dovetail construction and uh, we want to make sure that uh, all of your drawers are being put together with nails. Uh, otherwise, everything will fall apart when you are opening and closing the drawers. So next is Edgar's going to be putting on the fasteners, which is what the rails of your drawers will be connecting to. And so uh, these will also be putting, uh, be putting together by our pan head screws, which is the exact same screw that you'll be putting together all of the L brackets with. Last step of the drawer is going to be the bumpers, which is what causes the drawer to close softly against the face of the frame. Now that all three of the drawers are assembled, we're gonna move on to what's next. We're gonna grab the face frame of the 3DB21, and we're gonna move on to the L brackets. L brackets, again, are going to be facing the groove of the uh, frame so that we can make sure everything is going to fit in nice and good. All right, as Edgar is doing the last of the L brackets, we're going to be moving on to the side walls of the 3DB21. Again, we want to make sure that the top is going to be flush. If we're not flush, when installing, uh, there will be unlevel cabinets. So we want, again, we want to double check and triple check to make sure that the top of your sidewall is flush with the frame of your cabinet. After that, we're going to grab the second sidewall. Again, we're going to make sure that we're flush at the top of the cabinet. That way, the, also the other reason we want to make sure we're flush at the top of the cabinet is so that we can make sure all of the grooves line up for the bottom of the cabinet as well. All right, now that all the sides are done, we're gonna put in the bottom of the 3DB21. Make sure all the grooves fit in nice and neat. Maybe even grab the mallet just to make sure everything fits correctly. There we go. All right, now that the bottom of the 3DB21 is uh, installed, we're gonna grab the back panel of the actual cabinet. And then from there, we'll be moving on to the drawers. Again, we wanna make sure that everything is flush at the top because we want everything to be nice and level at installation. One of the last things we're going to be doing on the back of this cabinet is installing the uh, black sheetrock type screws. All right, and now that the, the back panel is finished, the very last step before we move on to the drawers is going to be the toe kick. Again, this will be held on uh, with the nail gun, but again, we want to make sure that we want to make sure that both sides are nice and flush. All right, now that the toe kick is installed, we've been nailed it down. I just want to make sure that we remember to make everything nice and flush on both sides because that's when we can use some either outside corner molding and or some scribe to cover up the raw edges of this wood just as a decorative piece. Something that uh, us here at Skyline Cabinetry, we like to do. It's an added feature. You guys don't have to if you don't want to, but it's just something to make the side of your cabinet to look nice and neat. Moving on, we're going to move on to lifting the cabinet up to now go ahead and install the drawers. We're going to start with the rails. First things we're going to need to do is go ahead and put in the safety fasteners to the back of the cabinet. As Edgar's doing that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the fastener, which is where we put the rails, uh, connect the rails to the fastener 
and that is going to be uh, if the wall is out of plumb or unlevel a little bit, we can move the drawer rails around so that the cabinet and the drawers will shut square to the face of the frame. If not, what we'll do is, if we don't need to move them around, what we'll do is we'll add an extra screw because we have extra product that always comes with it. And uh, we will put a screw right in the middle of this once we have everything lined up nice and neat, put the two lines together and we will screw this, the piece that shifts back and forth, we will put a screw right in the middle of that so that it will stay uh, straight. All right, now that we got the fasteners put in, we're gonna slide the rails into the back of the fasteners. They slide right in and there's gonna be about four different holes. We wanna make sure to put it in the very last hole here on the railing uh, because we got the, uh, the screws that will then fit, sit flush with the rail. We wanna make sure that the screws, you're using the right screw because we don't want to make the screw head stick out and scratch the side of your drawers. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install these, uh, put the screws in, and then we will put the drawers in and we'll be done from there. All right, now that all three of those are done, we're gonna go ahead and open up the rails, set the drawer right on top, connect it to the fasteners, and then the drawer will be installed. All right, so, Edgar and I just want to say thank you for joining us here as we assembled the 3DB21 and uh, we just uh, hope this helps you in any way possible. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to us on our website. Uh, uh, there'll be an email address there or and or on this video. Please do, do not hesitate. We'd love to help you out in any way we can. Thank you guys. Have a great day.